Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm your host, Orion Ludlow. For the next half hour or so, we're going to be checking out some cool movies made by kids in the Vancouver Public Schools video production programs. So each high school and several middle schools offer video production classes. Kids learn the techniques of visual storytelling, as well as the operation of cameras, lights, microphones, and editing software. This experience teaches students not only how to make movies or videos, but also how to communicate and manage these complex projects. So today, we're at a video production class at Geyser Middle School. You can see kids working behind me right now on their projects. But our first film is going to come from Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. It's an award-winning 40-second piece. Check it out. All right, good job, guys. That was a great movie. Now, I mentioned before that Memoirs of a Metal Man was an award-winning film. It actually won the Judges Award and the Audience Award for 18 and Under Filmmakers at Portland's 42nd Film Festival. Good work. Now we're going to check out a ghost story. This comes from Columbia River High School. Are you here? Ouija, are you here? Ouija, are you here? Ouija, are you here? Are you from the sun or the moon? Prove it. Ouija board and then this ghost started chasing me. I, I just, I don't know what to do.
been a dream. Must have just been a dream. Oh my god. Excellent job guys. Cool special effects in that one. Now as I mentioned earlier, we are at Geyser Middle School today. We're in the video production classroom. And coming up now we're gonna see a couple of silent movies produced by some of the kids you see working behind me right now. All right, well, I'm joined now by the cast and crew of The Heist. Um, hello, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Um, what was your assignment to, for this um, film? I was Vanessa. I was, like, the chaser, I think. Yeah. So what, what did your, when you, your teacher told you to make this movie, what, were you, what, was, what was your goal? Um, 
my goal was just to make it like like a silent movie, like old and like black and white kind of. There's a lot of music in this that really goes along with with the, how the, you know everything that's going on in the movie. It was music something that 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 you had to look for afterwards to kind of tie it all together? Or did you know what you were gonna do? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted the jazz kind of style to go along with his footsteps, and then when the chase came along, I wanted like an exciting kind of um, music. So how long did it take you to make the whole the whole movie? It, for me, it was like two days. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you edit it all in this room? Yeah, we do. We edit it on those computers. Yeah. I'll ask all three of you, what have you learned so far this year about movie making well i learned that um like you, you're supposed to like work good in your groups and yeah okay how about you? i learned that like how to change like color and like how to cut the stuff so you can edit it better and, okay. yeah all right and i learned like um how many different kinds and styles of movie you can have there's just so much uh, genres out there it's cool. Do you guys want to continue making movies? Is this something you're going to keep doing? Maybe look go to when you get to high school and stuff. Yeah, I will like keep doing this because I really like this class. Do the video. Yeah. Okay. I want to do it next year and go into high school because right. right. it's really fun. Good. It could be a nice career choice. Okay. Yeah. Good. Cool. Well, that's neat. Um, Thank you very much for answering some questions and talk with me, guys. Um, we're gonna check out another movie, another silent movie made right here at Geyser. And I'm joined now by the cast and crew of The Unknown, that the other silent movie we just saw. Hi guys, thanks for being here with me. Can you tell me what you did in the movie? Um, well, what we did for the well, I was the cameraman for the movie. Okay. What did you do? My job was just to pick up the shoe and look mistake un misunderstood. That's awesome. Um, I was the director and one of the actors. Okay. Um, I was one of the actors who chased them. All right. Uh, I produced a movie and I wrote a script. I mean, a storyboard. Okay, awesome. So, like, w when you were putting this putting this idea together, like, your assignment was a silent movie, right? So what, how'd you come up with this idea? Well, what we thought of, uh, first me and Nick started brainstorming, and we thought of a good uh, action 
kind of silent film, so we decided to go with it. Okay. Okay. Um, now, I mean, I'm like, as I'm watching it, I'm wondering sort of what's next. And like, you, you sort of leave that at, you know, that opening at the end of that this could go on forever. And um, so I, and I thought that was cool. When you guys were filming it, like, did you have it all set out? Was it really easy to do the filming part? Uh, it, was, it was pretty easy to do the filming part unless one of our members was missing. Did that happen a lot? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, um, so your role was at the very end you picked up the shoe. I mean, do you think you're in line for a sequel here? Mm, I think we should. Uh, yeah? Yeah. It would be cool to do another sequel to this. All right. Yeah, I agree. I actually had a, got a kick out of watching this movie. Um, so, I mean, there's like a there's a, a fear part like this. It's scary, but it's all kind of friendly at the end. Um, you guys also used music a lot to sort of help tell the story. I mean, with in silent movies, there's no words. How, how do you think music helped in this in this movie? Well, it showed like the action, like it helped tell the story and what's going on. Yeah, and good, and like the, the it speeds the pace up and everything. Did you um, did you film it mostly in on this campus? Uh, yeah, it was just right around there, just in the front of the school. Yeah. I noticed some of the some of the scenery outside looked very familiar. I would like to ask you guys, and you can all answer this one at a time. But what what have you learned in this class so far this year? Well, I've learned how to frame shots, edit a movie, and export it to the shared folder that's cool watch it okay nice i've learned like there's like more than just one shot there's like hundreds of different shots you could do and how to edit better and do add music to your video that's something i really liked about this movie was there was a lot of like s slow sweeping shots a lot of quick edits it was i thought it was cool what have you learned well, I've learned that in video technology, you have to like just get out there and do all your work as fast as you can, or else you won't have any time. That's the real world. That's that's good. You're learning that. That's exactly what it's like for me at my job. What have you learned? Um, just some shots. Like there's a bunch of different shots that you can do, and yeah. Did Did you uh, like being an actor? Yeah, it was fun. Cool. When, and what have you learned? I mean, you've took on a lot of responsibility here. Yeah, well, I learned to be time efficient and, you know, learned about editing a program called Final Cut Pro, so it was interesting. You know, people in, in uh, the news business use Final Cut. It's, it's, it's a real program that everyone uses. That's good you're learning. I mean, this is early. Is this something you'd want to do for the rest of your life, or I mean, have you thought about that? Yeah, I actually wanted to be a director in a film someday, so. All right, how about you? Um, I've thought about it, but I'm not really sure if I can make it through that. I understand. Um, I would like to continue this in high school, but I don't think so. I would want to take it as a career. Yeah, it's, okay. I get you. I'd probably have to think about it more. I, I like doing this kind of stuff, but I like to do other stuff, too. Good. Um, I like doing this, and I'll probably take it in high school, but I don't think I'd make a career out of it. All right, I want to thank the cast and crew of The Unknown for answering some questions and hanging out today. Thank you very much, guys. Good job. Our final film of the show comes from Columbia River High School. Students there set out to make a film based around the seven deadly sins. This is called The Business of Sinning. bought suit the other day and it really distinguished my already classically handsome features and I, it's, it's the best suit that I can find because it's on me that is the best suit that's nice Chris very it just glorifies my glutes I've been working out I don't need to but I have been it's just you, you gotta see it man. you gotta see it it's beautiful I saw it you, you didn't really see it, though. You saw, you saw it, but you didn't really see it. You didn't... We all have you, suits, all right? You're not, you're not getting what I'm saying. You gotta think like me, man. You gotta think like a wimp. All right, hold on, hold on a second. Do you know how much these suits cost? All you, all you think about is how good you look at them, but 
I mean, these cost me a lot of money to be paying for all this stuff. Besides, the car is nice too. I mean, look at it. It's cheap too. How dare you? You disgust me. I don't think you understand. My face was chiseled by the gods themselves. My body is proportioned to Michelangelo's David. It is about how I look, because it's great. You disgust me. You disgust everyone. Would you guys shut up? I'm trying to get some shut eye over here. It is really simple. I don't think he really understands. Yeah, Johnson, I know 12,000 people were laid off last week. What's more gonna do? You know what more means? More means more money. That's all. You know, you know the deal's on, and it's gonna happen. All right, well, you know, give me some coffee. I don't need it. You make, make it twice, because I know the first time this is gonna be garbage. All right, bye. I'm gone. Do you have any twos? Go fish. So why are we doing this merger anyway? What do you hope to accomplish out of this? Seems like a dumb idea. Because this is gonna make us money, more references, more customers. This is gonna be a big merger. Might make headlines. So you guys have to look sharp. I always do. But why do we have to get dressed up for all of this? We have to make a good impression. This guy's graduated from Harvard and he's a genius. Are you Ashton? I hope I haven't been keeping you all waiting. So, we're just going to conduct a few little interviews, but don't worry, it's nothing. It's just a little thing for our database. It's just a formality, okay? Oh yeah, that sounded uh, great. I hope you don't mind a little bit of candlelight. So Jason, how'd you get started in this company? Well, I got fired from my last job for being lazy and unorganized. But my friend Ashton hooked me up with this job here at this company. Well, I think I get enough done around here, but everyone else seems to think that all I ever do is sleep. And Joey actually beats me up and tells me I'm stupid. Yeah, I like Ashton. I think he's a pretty great guy, but you know who doesn't like Ashton? It's Chris. Well, he's my boss. I'm supposed to like him. But I don't. He's, yeah. I'm the only asset to the company. I'm the face of this company. Without me, they'd be nothing. Everyone gets on long pretty well, to an extent. Well, at least with me. I have great people skills. But I'd have to say, Joey and Ashton, they've clashed heads a couple of times. It's not too pretty. He makes boneheaded decisions that are going to run this company to the ground. I know I can do better. Chris may think he can do better. But this company's just full of peons anyway. I know that Jason couldn't run this company. He can barely run himself. He's usually sleeping. The only reason Ashton hired this guy is because he's got some rich parents or something born into that money. No, he has never done a single productive thing in his life. Just living off what he's been given. Lazy. I mean, really good for nothing. Uh, I mean, 
All he does is sleep all day. I mean, he slept in the car right here. He's very unprofessional. I can say I don't quite like the guy. Um, you know, Joey, you know, he may have some anger issues, but I don't know. There's something about him. People like him. It's a certain charisma he has about himself, you know? A dark, mysterious type. See, Chris, really more or less a hard worker, but I, honestly, the guy's an idiot. Uh, I catch him in the book sometimes, and it's just, you can tell he's just horrible with numbers. Would you all mind if I play the hand of Go Fish? No, no, no. Sure, go for it. Go ahead. Joey, got any kings? Do you have any nines? Beautiful. Chris, is that a six and a nine? No, that's that's two nines. That's nine and a nine. See, no, but... no, that's a six and a nine. Joey, Joey, tell me, this is a six and a nine. Honestly? Did you really just put that down? It's nine. You that's, work that's how in a business. The game. How do you expect to deal with massive amounts of money, if you can't even match a nine it's to a nine. Six nine, same number. Honestly? Honestly, I mean seriously, hey, I'm on, asking man. you right now. He's up, man. He didn't do anything wrong. He's up. He's up. You think we, we could all ease up and just take naps and dress halfway? You think that's gonna cut it in this business? Alright, hold on guys, come on. I mean, we have a guest here. We need to calm down a little bit. No, it's okay. Everybody said that this group has problems, and we understand that. Wait, we okay. can work these out. <laughs> what, what did anybody say about problems? There's no problems. I mean, we, everything's gonna work out perfectly fine, and it'll be okay, all right? Well, obviously, this group has a little bit of dynamic issues. No dynamic issues, it's, it's good. It's good, okay? It's all good. <laughs> okay, calm down, guys. It's it's a joke. You just don't get it. This kind of it's humor. Hard, How old are you? Honestly, and and you. You don't even have the concept of a dollar. All you know about money is whether or not it can feed you or give you a blanket. Well, if that's how you feel, then maybe I'll take my money somewhere else. Oh, that's just great. All right, then. Well, I guess all your hard-earned money is for nothing, because this company's over. Fine, then. Well, I don't need them. I'm going to do something else. It's all over, man. Johnson? Yeah, the company split up. I did my work. Bye. All right, thanks, guys. Now, that just about does it for us. Remember that you can see many more student films on our YouTube site. It's www.youtube.com slash van sd tv just click on the young filmmakers project link at the bottom of the screen and you'll see a whole bunch of past episodes all right well that does it for us i hope you had a good time watching we had a good time being here once again i'm orion ludlow and thank you for watching the young filmmakers project we'll see you next episode <laughs>